what I wanted to do was make an outlet so they could be positive for the ones who, who, who wasn't negative or the ones who didn't want to be negative or get caught up in the negativity, they could use something, an outlet, you know what I mean? Uh, an additional way to, you know, exhibit creativity and, you know, activities and stuff. And I was just simply tired of seeing a whole bunch of negative stuff in my environment, my neighborhood. Okay, thank you. What has your organization accomplished so far? Well, what we, my organization, what, 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 a little bit of everything. We okay. haven't done anything major, major. We have done some, um, you know, food drives, some clothing drives and stuff like that. But we haven't done anything majorly well. Where you know white, where, where the White House will stand up and recognize, <laughs> but that's that's one of the main reasons why I did did the organization because it's 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 the little things that that can go a long way. And then so you've just started, so right, you're right. starting to get into things. Yeah. Okay. How did you come up with the name? Yeah, that that is just a yeah. awkward. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what acronym you have there? Yes, yes, it is. I um, I wasn't as I said, my environment growing up in in the city, it, it wasn't the best. You know, I I experienced a lot of negativity in my life. So, if you can say, uh, um, I was I was born born in a in an environment that was less fortunate, urbanized. Mm -hmm. So we called it, you know, the ghetto. So I was like, how could you make something positive? How can something positive be from the ghetto? So I started thinking about the name, thinking about the name. And then that's when I came up with that, you know, ghetto, G-H-E-T-T-O, giving help everywhere to those overlooked. Okay. Like, hey, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's a good place to start. Yeah, you're right. That is a wonderful place to start. So um, what do you plan to have accomplished within the next five to ten years? What I would like to do is I like to, um, like I said, go where there's, the name says it all, my name, giving help everywhere to those overlooked. There's a lot of people that's, that's overlooked. There's a lot of people that's misfortunate, I mean, that's fortunate and stuff like that. So um, what's close to home to me is um, um, single parents, um, teenage pregnancies. So what I would like to do in the next five to ten years is start programs that we can address this dress like teenage pregnancy so we can address um, this gang violence, so we can address um, the recidivism rates and stuff for uh, incarceration, so we can address even some economical standpoints from like, you know, job creation, uh, uh, entrepreneurial, uh, uh, everything. I want to, honestly, it, it sounds uh, uh, obnoxious and a lot outrageous, but I want to do everything because, like I said, it's, it's the little guy, it's me or you who gets overlooked or, or, the, or, or or the ones that's less fortunate who, who needs that extra hand, who needs that extra hand. Now, so, would you consider that your ultimate dream for your nonprofit or organization? What, to help everybody? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I wish I could have, I wish I had, like, it sounds outrageous, but I wish I had, like, Bill Gates money. Like, wow. I know I could be on some real electric stuff. You know, okay. I, mean, I, I would really help, you know, community, start scholarships, community colleges. I think that's, 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 that's a, that's a that's a nice key step right there because a lot of people are not structured for that four-year college. So if they can transition to a two-year university, then later go on to, you know, that four-year, that, that master's, that doctorate, whatever. You know what I mean? But stuff like that, yeah, I hope to accomplish that in the next five Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you giving me this one-on-one -on -one interview. And uh, hopefully I can follow up with you within the next couple of months and maybe volunteer if it's all right. No problem. To your organization. We would love you. We would love you. We, as a matter of fact, we have something in conjunction with the church I'm currently uh, 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 sponsoring with. We have something for our youth, and it's called... Uh, uh, our, it's our next in line program. So it's like, you know, the next great person in line or the next great individual in line. So if we start them young, mm -hmm. we can mold them and shape them. That way they, 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 can, they can be Michelle Obama's, Barack Obama's. They can be senators, lawyers, and congressmen, stuff like that. The stuff that really, really, really we need. Okay. The stuff we need. All right. Well, thank you so much once again.
and you have a wonderful day. All right, you the same. Uh-huh. Okay.